come. It's time to be bamboozled, super guess, super magic, and today's show is all about water. Now, for different people, water has different meanings. And many years ago, when I was still much younger, I remember growing up watching a German magician, very famous, called Kalanark. They did a trick called Any Drink Called For. And over the ages, it has had a reputation. People have never forgotten about it. It's been unbelievable. So what I'd like is I'd like the audience to become involved. And when I ask you to shout out, go wild. I want to know what is your favorite drink. Have I got any favorite drinks? Come shout out. Okay, well, well uh, hang on, I've got brandy over there. This is, first of all, I must tell you that this is, um, this is a special container. You'll see about that now. So I heard brandy first over there. Can I ask you just to take this? Okay, we've got brandy. Who, who said whiskey? Somebody said a whiskey to me as well there. Right, okay. In fact, there we go like that. I think that's, and what, what did you say? Who said what? Oh, no, hang on, I mistook. That, you know, that, that's beer. This is whiskey. Yeah, so that's brandy, beer, whiskey. What else did I hear over there? Oh, no, rum. rum. Okay, there we go. So what, what's your favorite drink? What? Aquavit. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. You always get one that tries to catch you out, okay? Right. Aquavit. Okay, so let's try that. In fact, Aquavit, as far as I recall, is a, Norwe it's a Norwegian schnapps, yes? So, what? Was, was I talking to you? Okay, I was, are you a ventriloquist? The dummy just spoke over there now. <laughs> so, what, what's your favorite? A what? You're kidding me. An Amarula. Okay, here we go. And what would you like, ma'am? You know, it, we've also got alcoholic, okay? <laughs> but she wanted a straw. Okay. There we go. Right. Um, and what about you, sir? A cider. A cider? And we do have a posh bunch of people here this evening. <laughs> so we'll get with a cider like that. Would you just pass those out? Hang on. That, let me just put them in the order for them. That's the Aquavit, the, the uh, Amarillo, the, the, the Strawberry, and that's the Cider. Now, um, Devin, I'm going to ask you to take the next ones. Let's pick on this. this gentlemen, so, so what, do you, what would you like? <laughs> A gin and tonic. I think that should do it. And uh, what would uh, the lady next to you like? Coffee. Make it water. Let's give it some water. And then uh, let's get the next one over there. What would you like? You have an apple sours. It's still early in the evening, you know. Okay, right. So we'll just get you an apple sours over there. That's it. And the next person, what would you like? Red wine. Okay, so we'll get you some red wine. If you'd be so kind as to pass it out to those people and make sure what you wanted, it tastes like that. You chose the gin and tonic. The lady wanted the water and not the coffee, right? You wanted the apple, uh, it was the apple sounds, and so you wanted the red wine. Those of you that have got yours, what you wanted, does it taste like that? It is. Okay, so we are going to have a bit of a sozzled audience this evening. <laughs> While they finish that, we will move over to our ad break. See you later. <laughs> it is an honor for me to introduce to you my guest magician tonight. He's a friend of 23 years. I think he's unbelievable in his sleight of hand. He has an absolutely fantastic personality. And he's going to blow you away. Ladies and gentlemen, Leslie Coakley.
Cleveland can play. <laughs> wow, that was brilliant, my man. It's such an honor to have had you on the show. Thank you so much, Leslie. Let's give him one more round of applause as we go into our commercial break. Listen, I know it's the water show, but this is kind of ridiculous. Oh. Right. Thank you very much. I have a celebrity guest today. And in fact, I met him at the waterfront from Township Guitars, ladies and gentlemen, Donnie. Welcome. Let's have a seat, and you can tell me about these amazing guitars of yours. Oh, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a well, wet one. Yeah, well, the dancers took us literally, you know, okay. with the water theme. So, Donnie, tell me a bit about Township Guitars. The Township Guitars, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a tradition. When we were kids, we used to make guitars out of oil cans because we couldn't afford guitars mm -hmm. in the townships. Okay. So... Now, as you, as you all know, that most oil companies use plastic, so that kind of tradition is dying there. So we thought about four years ago, start making guitars, real guitars with a proper neck, playable guitars out of the can. So we talked to Castro, they made a couple of thousand cans for us. Then we made, started making guitars. It's absolutely brilliant. Have you got any CDs out? Yeah, I've got... Two out, one coming on. The first one, my personal one, I made about two years ago. It's called The Farm. Then we've got our CD, we promote the guitars, just township guitars, CD, mostly instrumental. It's out to, we sell those at our store in the waterfront. Then I've got one I made in Germany in June with my German band, and it's coming on. Then can we also Deutsch read, no? Yeah, I'm learning it. <laughs> Where's it yeah. Great. When you hear him play, you're going to see it's really magic. And on that note, you know, I want to show you a trick. Sure. And 
because you say it's a tradition that you want to upkeep, you know, even magic started as a tradition many years ago. In Egypt, in fact, in the hieroglyphics, there's a picture of what they call the gully gully man doing a cups and balls trick. Oh, and right. even today, through the ancestral chain, he still does uh, okay. the magic. And I didn't want to just use normal balls. I thought I'm just going to take some serviettes, just wet them like this, seeing that we've got all the water on the table, ah, you know. And the, the whole place. object is, it's an observation test, is for you to watch the balls in the cups. So I'm blatantly making them in front of you. So I'll place one there, one there, and this one over here. And so you're happy with this, Donny, that I've just got three balls, yes? Yeah. And I'm going to just cover the, 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 the cups with you. We put one cup over here, we put a one cup over here, and we put a one cup over there. So if I put that ball on top of there and do this, it's quite weird when you see that this ball goes straight through the cup. I know, it's strange. Now look, I'm going to do it again for you. This time I'm going to place this cup over here, place that ball there, put this cup on top of there, just like that, and the three under there. Now I can see you think, yeah, they're trick cups. Okay, yeah, I, I'll admit I'm, it to you, they are, because there's a hole in at the bottom. That's why they fall through each other, like that. It's quite weird, huh? Now, I'll do it again for you. But this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to place the balls on top of the cups like this. Right, there's nothing under there. I'm going to take this one, put it into my pocket like that. Now, did you see it go under the cup? Yes no. Or no. So you didn't see it go back underneath there like that? No? So I'm going to take this one, uh, put it into the pocket like this. There. So I'm going to drop this one into my pocket. Again? Yes. So what's left under that one? Obviously, yeah, the last it, it, No, it's, it's got to be over there, okay? Am I going too quick for you? We'll just dump this one over there, right? So if I take this one and I drop this one into my hand like this, under which cup would you say this one's going to appear now? Because of these balls have been appearing in these cups, I think they are, it's under every. Under every cup. You yeah. know, that is such a good answer. I'm so impressed. Because you see, under this cup, I've got that big one over here. You didn't see where that one came from, did you? <laughs> and under this one over here, no, that's the pink large bouncy ball over there. And of course, under this one, no, there's no serviettes left under there. That's the yellow. It's, that's, it's funny. It is, it's rather it weird, is. huh? But you know what gets me? Not only do I have these over here, each of these cups actually contain water like this. And now I've done all my magic. I think it's about time you did some magic. And let's give a warm round of applause to Donnie and his township guitar.
was absolutely fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I wish you everything of the best for the future. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it a lot. Great. Thank you again. And now to our commercial break. For 20 years, Brent van Rensburg was a professional trapeze artist. In 1978, he left South Africa to follow his dream and travel the world as a performer. During this time, he met his wife, Laurence, in the Dominican Republic. And in 1992, they came back to South Africa and started the Zip Zap Circus. Since then, they've trained hundreds of students. Today, some of them are working on cruise liners in the Mediterranean, the United States, and for some of the most famous circuses in the world. And seeing that today's element is water, when I saw this act, I said it's perfect. But it's very, very special because it's performed by two very young girls. The one is Brent's own daughter, Sabina, who's nine years old, and Dolly, who's 10. This is the most beautiful and graceful act ever. I want you to give them a wonderful round of applause, Sabina and Dolly. Thank you. 
Savina and Goni, fantastic. So graceful and so thrilling. Wow, hey? Eh? That must have taken you a long time to do. And now it's time for an ad break. We've come to that part of the show where I choose someone from the audience and do a trick. I see it's such a nice family audience. This time I'd like to use one of the youngsters in the audience. Do we have a volunteer? Oh, oh yes, right. Would you come up, please give him a round of applause. Hello. <laughs> Hi, thanks very much. What's your name? John Paul. John Paul. That's a cool name, John Paul. How long have you had that name? 12 years, ah, good answer. You know, I was also 12 when I was your age. <laughs> okay, John Paul, we're going to do a trick. Brand new trick. I just got it in the post. Read the instructions once quickly. But, you know, I'm experienced with my magic. I know what I'm doing. So you can relax. It's quite cool. I have over here a glass of water, just because everyone believes it's chemicals. Hmm? Water. I also have another cup. Nothing inside there. And I'm going to pour the water into this cup. This is what the instructions say. Pour the water in there like that. You now take a piece of cardboard and you place it on there like this, right? Now you turn everything upside down, we put it on your head. Usually people react worse when I do that. Okay, now take your hand and place it on top of the head over there. That's it. Whatever you do, don't let the cup slip, okay? Yeah. Now in the instructions it said, once you've done that with your assistant, you remove the card. Mm -hmm. Like that. Do, whoops, what does it say here? Do not remove. <laughs> John Paul, um, I don't know what to do now. Uh, you're going to have wet hair, and your hair's been done so nice. Maybe we should use a bit of magic. What do you say, yeah? So what I want you to do is to come and stand just a bit more on this side. F please don't, let's just bring your arms sideways like that. There we go. Hold tight. I've got a rescue plan. Let me just finish the water in here so that you see there's nothing here. Mm -hmm. And I also have a funnel over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this funnel under there and I want you to pump your, your right arm. Hold it straight out over there and pump it up and down. And I'm going to hold this over there. Now, pump up and down like that. There we go. Very good. Yes, pump some more. Absolutely. Stop pumping. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, there's nothing in there now. Pump again. 
There we go. That's brilliant, brilliant. Some more, some more, some more. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Just a little bit more. And you're filling the glass. I think we're getting rid of the water. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> You've done quite a bit. You can stop now, John Paul. Uh, there, here we go. We've got the last drop of water out there. Now, very carefully, just lift the cup up. Oh, he's doing it carefully. And, uh, oh, he's done it. How about that? John Paul, don't go away. He deserves a super round of applause. I have a special magic set for you because that's how I started magic many years ago. Do enjoy it. So there we go. Thank you so much for being here. And now it's time to move to the outside into it, which is a daring escape. I challenged water. I used it to try something very dangerous. This you don't want to miss. For thousands of years, man has recognized the significance of water's role. So abundant, so unusual, so essential, man has stood back in awe. Water provides the surging oceans, the mists of the marshes, the creeping glaciers, the volcano's explosive steam, even a snowball. I intend to challenge the element of water and use it to propel me towards my fate. Watch closely.
Now that is something I will never, ever try again in my life. I'm amazed I actually accomplished that, and I trust you enjoyed it. Remember, I did that for your entertainment. We'll see you around next time. Good night. <laughs>